Let's get more reaction now to the death of the education MEC Tate Mahwe. Joining us is Satu General Secretary Mugwena Maluleke, who joins us virtually. Mugwena, thank you so much for your time this morning. A really sad uh, reason for us to be speaking to you. I was just speaking to uh, COPE spokesperson Dennis Bloom, and he really went to great lengths to talk about the passion in education um, uh, that uh, really drove the work that was done by Tate Mahwe throughout of his life, but especially in the um, portfolio that he found himself in as the MEC for Education. Your reaction to the news of his passing this morning? Um, let me greet your viewers at home and take this opportunity indeed uh, to express our deepest condolences to the family of Mahwe. Um, um, and also the, the protector that lost their lives. Um, it is indeed a very sad, as you are saying, day for us in education, but also as a country, to lose such a, um, a, an activist in education, the man of um, um, uh, his commitment and his word. And I worked with, with, with Ted, basically, um, when I was observing and looking at why he was building education from the ground and why he was investing more on, on you know grade r and foundation phase working mm. together with the unions working with the parents and working together with everyone in the free state and i said um we we're going to see free state um, um leading in terms of quality education in this country under the leadership of Mahwe. and really at a time where i was saying to um uh, dennis bloom earlier we have so much focus on the so-called bad apples in administration in education in all of these important departments um uh, this will be a loss that will be felt throughout that education portfolio but indeed also uh, uh just in the administration of a province that fa faces so many challenges on a day-to-day -day basis Yes, um, it, it will. We will face serious challenges. I must, I must say, but because his commitment and uh, his work ethics uh, was different uh, from any other person who um, would have understood education as an enabler, as an, a game changer. So his understanding of education and why he committed himself to work for the people of Free State and for this particular country, and uh, obviously deal with these particular issues that we're dealing with on a daily basis: corruption uh, in departments. Uh, you know, uh, terrible work ethics that we see sometimes, you no know, support to the teachers um, by district offices. He would go to that particular area uh, immediately when that particular issue has been reported to him. He was not a person staying in the office. He was not a person really enjoying to be uh, in, in, in the cameras and so forth, but he was enjoying one to be with the principals, one to be the teachers. In those particular areas, wherever there is a problem, you will find that the mark were there uh, really uh, communicating working with the people on the ground. We remember him during the COVID uh, period, that he did everything he could to making sure our children are able to receive uh, the food, even if the schools were closed, working together with the communities and so forth. So indeed, um, some of these particular um, things that um, are, are, are not taking the country forward were the things that he was against, the things that he works very hard to ensure that he was able to instill that teamwork in his uh, province together with the administration that he's working with. But critically, he has been working with the teacher unions in a manner that they were mm. partners in education in give the child uh, quality education in the first state. You said you worked side by side with him. And when one does that, you do really get to, uh, to learn more about the essence of the person and what drives them on a day-to-day uh, uh, -day, uh, uh, basis. Uh, did that give you any idea of what it was that drove this passion in education specifically when you were working closely with him, Mugwena? Yeah, uh, indeed. Um, I, I, I get to know him as a person who understood that, uh, look, um, the apartheid and colonial education has really dispossessed us of our mental capacity to be able to create, to be innovating, to be manifesting things. And therefore, this was driving him to say, there must be quality education in all the institutions in the free state, irrespective of whether it's a Model C or former Model C or in the rural and so forth. So with the little resources that the free state had, he believed that bringing people together 
can be able to overcome some of these particular obstacles or barriers that are created uh, by lack of resources as compared to other provinces that are richer provinces. So he believe bringing people together and making sure that you appreciate the human resource capital in that particular province would really overcome some of these particular obstacles because he believed in the people, he believed in teamwork, he believed that uh, he, we can make a change so that at the end of the day, we are able to create those particular skills and really create an opportunity for our children to realize their full potential through education. So I learned that he was a very simple person. Um, and and, and, and it's just so to say, in other ways, mm-hmm. a very approachable person, a very humble person who did not put himself before the people. So he understood his, his service to the people was that he is not being served as an MEC, but an MEC to serve the people. That's what I have learned. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for sharing um, so personally with us uh, about the life of um, uh, Education MEC in the Free State. Tate uh, Mahwe, that is Satu General Secretary Mugwena Maluleke, joining us virtually there.